Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are um, rested and ready for class this morning. Um, today we are going to start with seeing what is in box number three in our What God Wants for Christmas. Okay, so the first person that we took out was... Anybody remember who this is? He's an angel. Gabriel. So we took out Gabriel. And then we took out, who is this one? Anybody remember? What's her name? Mary. Okay. So we have Gabriel and we have Mary, the mother of Jesus. So let's check out box number three's story this morning. All right. So this one is about Joseph. Sweet Mary now knew she'd be Jesus' mother, but moms need some help. She needed another. And Jesus would soon need a here-on-earth dad. God knew all that. Here's the plan that he had. God had a man named Joseph in mind. He'd make a good husband who's loving and kind. So one night, God sent an angel to speak instructions to Joseph while he lay asleep. Joseph, take Mary. She'll be a good wife. This marriage is still God's plan for your life. God's Spirit has given her a baby within. His name will be Jesus. He'll save you from sin. What God wants for Christmas, to you, it's a surprise. In box number seven, it is disguised. But no peeking, be patient. For this you must wait. It's what you offer him, and it's really great. All right, so here's the pictures. We've got Joseph down here sleeping and the angel talking to him while he's sleeping. Okay, and so we're going to open box number three. And who do we have in here? Who do you think this is? Who do we just read about? Joseph. Okay, so we're going to put Joseph over here in the stable with Mary. Okay, so now we have Gabriel, Mary, and Joseph. And so you'll have to tune in tomorrow to see who is in box number four. Thumbs up. All right. Now, as you, I hope, remember, we have what letter this week? Anybody remember what letter we've got? That's right, we've got the letter K. And you see a picture down here? What is this of? A kite. Kite starts with K. Big K has three lines, as you can see, a tall straight back right here and a sideways V. So if you look like this, that looks like a V, doesn't it? So, one tall straight line and a sideways V. So we have the capital K. And then we have the lowercase k. Small letter K is one that is quick. One line down, then two out like a kick. So you can pretend that the K is kicking. These are the legs. One line down, and then a kick. And K makes what kind of sound? What kind of sound does the K make? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm listening. <laughs> K, K, like Colton, and keys, and kitten, and kettle, and Carter and let's see, kid and kit 
Let's see, is there anything else that starts with a K? Let me think. How about a koala bear? Koala bear starts with a K. Koala. All right. So we have the number, what, before <laughs> I show you, what number do we have for this month? Shout it out if you remember. Yeah, I'm still listening. Okay, yes. I have my listening ears on. I put them on this morning. Mm -hmm. I hope you put yours on too. Yes, the number five. Number five, straight line down and then around. Hat on top and five's a clown. I know you guys aren't clowns, are you? I'm a little goofy like a clown sometimes. Okay, so you have the number five. Let's see, what can I count five of? Oh, look, let's try counting our fingers, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. Yes, you had five fingers. <laughs> five fingers. Um, let's see. What else can I count five of? How about I count five letters? So we have A, B, C, D, E. How many is that? One, two, three, four, and five. Look, I have five cards here in my hand. Now, is there something around your house that you have five of? Maybe you can go find five of something at your house after you're done with class today, okay? Now, you have a number five worksheet that you should be doing today. Can you see that worksheet right there? It's got the number five at the top. So you'll be doing that worksheet today. And then you also have the letter K sheet that you can work on today. And remember that I love to see the pictures of the stuff that you're doing at home. So you can always uh, post your pictures and send them to me on Remind because I've gotten several of them. So I hope to see more of yours. And okay, so what shape do we have? Okay, I'll listen with my other ear. Oh, hold on. No, you got to talk louder. I can't hear you. What shape do we have for this month? What? No. Oh, yes. A star. That's right. And how many points does the star have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We have five points on a star. I am Sarah Star. You can see me twinkle from afar. My five points make me complete. When I'm brightly shining, I can't be beat. So there's Sarah Star. Do you um, have a star on your Christmas tree maybe? I see a star right there. Do you see that star? There's one on our Christmas tree here. Where else can you find stars? In the sky, that's right. There are like millions of stars in the sky. So you can go out and look at the sky tonight and see how many stars you can see. And then we have our color yellow. Bright and shining yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. 
Like the early morning sun, when the day has just begun, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow. Good job. Now yesterday you made a, you made something that was yellow, didn't you? Remember you made a yellow crown. Our crown was yellow. So you have your yellow crown at home. Can you find anything else at home that is yellow? I bet you can. Maybe you can bring it to um, our live class next Tuesday so we can see what you have at home that is yellow. All right, now we're gonna go on to our days of the week. Can anybody remember what day yesterday was? Yesterday was Tuesday. Boom, Tuesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday, what does that make today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What comes after Wednesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, that's right, Thursday. So yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. And so we had our pattern. Let's take a little field trip here. We're gonna take a field trip over to the board. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, what number would come after eight? That's right, number nine. Now, what color would come after eight? What color do you think number nine is? Now, if you look at our pattern, what pattern do we have? We have purple, red, green, yellow, purple, red, green, yellow, What's gonna come after that yellow? Purple! We have a purple number nine. So today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. Wednesday, December 9th, 2020. All right. Let's take a field trip back over here. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to see if you can remember your Bible verse. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Revelation 19.16 he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Remember, we've got a K right here, and then we have another K right here. So practice memorizing that, okay? And then we're going to go on to our Bible story for today. Okay, this is called Simeon and Anna meet baby Jesus. Okay. Mary and Joseph took baby Jesus to the temple. There they met a godly man named Simeon. Simeon took Jesus in his arms and praised God. He knew Jesus was the savior of all people. Then Simeon blessed Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. So there's little baby Jesus right there. A prophet named Anna lived at the temple. She prayed to God every day. When Anna saw baby Jesus, she thanked God. She told everyone in the temple, this is God's son, the savior of the world.
Could you imagine holding baby Jesus in your arms? The Savior of the world, holding him in your arms. I just can't even imagine. I mean, how special would it be to be holding the baby Jesus right there in your arms? Okay, guys. So we have an amazing craft that you're going to do today that Mrs. Posey is going to explain to you how to do it. Take it away, Miss Posey. All right, this is my favorite craft. I actually still have my girls at home. What you're going to do is you're going to have a parent or older sibling paint your whole hand, all five fingers and the palm with white paint. Then you're going to stamp it onto the wreath. Then you're probably going to have to paint again and stamp it on again. See if you can get four or five hands on this wreath. This one has five, but if five doesn't fit, that's okay. You can get four. Then you have this cute little bow that has your name on it, and it might have some glitter because we all love glitter. After your hand prints dry, you're going to take the bow and you can tape it on to your wreath and then you can hang it up. Make sure you send us pictures of this because like I said, this is my favorite craft and I still have my little girls and they are in fourth and in fifth grade and I still have it and it looks amazing. So make sure you do it. This is definitely one of my favorites too and I have three of my kids wreaths still. So. Make sure you do a great job for your parents because they're probably going to keep this just like we did with our own kids. For sure. Okay, so send us pictures and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>